Is Ozempic and NMN the next longevity combo, a drug supplement combo? David Sinclair has been sharing some information from a study where they took NMN along with Ozempic. Now they gave them to laboratory animals, but both have been studied for similar effects in humans already and shown some positive results. In fact, this study was looking to improve bone density. So Ozempic is a weight loss drug, but it's been showing other potential specifically for activating sirtuins. Some scientists state that sirtuins are not specifically longevity genes. However, sirtuin activation has shown the potential to protect organs from chronic disease, such as cancer, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, fatty liver disease, lung disease, and heart disease. So a pretty big list of potential benefits for boosting sirtuins. In this study, they wanted to test out more specifically how impactful boosting sirtuins can be on bone density. Now, the drug name for Ozempic is liraglutide. And to explore the effects of liraglutide on diabetes, scientists injected liraglutide into rats for 12 weeks. This resulted in weight loss and lower blood glucose levels, indicating that liraglutide has similar effects in rats as it does in humans. In other words, humans have been losing weight and improving their blood sugar levels from taking Ozempic. Yes, the animals in the lab had the same results. The liraglutide also improved bone metabolism as shown by increased bone formation and decreased bone breakdown markers. Importantly, the liraglutide treatment increased CERT1 levels in the bone tissue of the diabetic rats. It's very important because there have been a lot of questions about how these drugs and how these supplements get into the bones themselves. To confirm the critical role of CERT1, the researchers genetically removed CERT1s from some of the rats where liraglutide reduced inflammation and oxidative stress, which are established biological drivers of aging in diabetic rats with CERT1 intact. Removing CERT1 blocked this effect. Moreover, removing CERT1 blocked the bone formation effects of liraglutide, demonstrating that the bone anti-aging effects of Ozempic are mediated by CERT1. So David Sinclair cites studies showing that NMN improves bone mass in mice, liraglutide levels improved bone formation in women, NMN improves fracture healing in mice, and CERT1's potential role in bone metabolism. Sinclair then points out that drugs like Ozempic have side effects like muscle mass loss that can potentially be mitigated by NAD precursors like NMN. He cites a study showing that NMN improves leg endurance in adults, suggesting NMN could protect against muscle loss. Since NAD is the fuel used by sirtuins, these scientists gave these animals NMN to fuel their sirtuins. So it wasn't specifically an experiment for NMN and Ozempic combined. However, David Sinclair kind of read between the lines and said, aha, uh -huh, this is a very interesting use of NMN. It could offset some of the downsides, potential side effects of Ozempic, uh, while also fueling it when used for boosting sirtuins. My own takeaway from this is not to say that people should go out and start taking Ozempic if they're taking NMN, but it does give weight to activating sirtuins if you're taking NMN. That NMN is a fuel for the sirtuins, but if you're not activating those sirtuins with things like fisetin, quercetin, resveratrol, CERT6 activator, and also a healthy diet and exercise. Exercise can activate sirtuins through the recycling pathway. Berberine can activate sirtuins through the recycling pathway. I'm now considering taking berberine after almost four years of considering it uh, for a number of reasons, partly due to this research, partly due to the success that it's been having in its own research. I've ordered some berberine. I'm going to start taking just one capsule a day. I'm going to take it at the beginning of my eating window. And I'm going to do that because I don't have diabetes. I'm not yet pre-diabetic. However, I've been shown to be borderline. And I'm trying to see if I can reduce my blood sugar levels just a little bit more and make the most out of that eating window that I do every day. And since berberine is natural and exists in the food supply, I'm just boosting it. I've decided to give it a shot. Now I get NMN and I'm going to get berberine from Do Not Age. I've taken their supplements now for nearly four years. The links are in the description. You can use my code PULSE. You can save 10% there. It's very important to get supplements that you trust and Do Not Age is a research organization and they get all of their supplements third-party tested. 
So I'm also going to get my berberine from them as well, in case any of you are wondering. Now, this recent study and David Sinclair's pointing out and referring to NMN again, specifically as NMN, not as MIB626, this continues to show the momentum that NMN is building. There was a couple years there where we were not hearing about NMN at least being used in as many clinical studies because it was being studied as a drug more and more. And when you did see reference to NMN, it was as MIB626. So it's nice to see NMN gaining even more traction. In fact, daily, it's ranking better and better in search. I'm seeing it in my own NMN-specific videos. Over the past few years, my videos have not been getting the traffic they used to get. And lately, videos where I specifically talk about NMN and the benefits that I've been feeling from NMN, I've seen those videos begin to take off again. I've also been seeing information about NMN show up in search, and now we're seeing increasingly more studies that are either centered around NMN or including NMN along with a drug. This continues momentum from a few years ago where they were finding that certain cancer drugs were more effective when you were giving the patient NMN as well. And that sort of has gone by the wayside the past couple of years, so it's nice to see that momentum building again for NMN, and I hope to see it continue. Now, just an update. NMN is improving in search. NMN is coming up more and more. NMN is being included in more studies. I just mentioned another study in my last video where NMN is being studied for diabetes specifically and kidney disease. But NMN is still not available at many large retail outlets. And I am hearing that that's going to change in the next few weeks, maybe two, three months from now, possibly not until July, but maybe sooner. NMN will be available more widespread very soon. What is expected Expected to result from the litigation against FDA concerning NMN is another enforcement discretion. That's the expected result, at least in the short term, which is similar what happened with NAC, where you can find in these outlets available again. So you'll find NMN. It's already been removed off a listing of restricted ingredients. That's why it's coming up more and more in search. That's why you're seeing videos about it again. That's why it's coming up in your homepage more and more. It's exciting to see for me because I still believe very, very strongly in NMN uh, because of my own personal progress since I've been taking it. So it's nice to see NMN getting its due reward, and it's nice to see the efforts that I put in paying off finally over the past few years. I believe the result in the decision on NMN will go further than enforcement discretion. That could take some time, but that's my personal hunch. I don't think things are set up again for just simply punting it down the road. I think the landscape, the climate right now towards health and towards healthy supplements is much more positive than it's it's been in many years, and I think we're going to get a different kind of result going forward, and I hope to see that, but not just for NMN, but for also research into other supplements that can be healthy for people and that can help prevent diseases. Again, diet, exercise, eat better, and supplement as needed. I'm not saying go out and buy Ozempic or start taking Ozempic unless your doctor says you need it. However, if you are taking Ozempic, you should probably strongly consider taking an NAD booster to fuel those benefits to your sirtuins, like NMN or NR. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon.